What is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel Android 11 base first custom room is finally available for Redmi Note 8 user if you're Redmi Note 8 user you might be really happy because the Android 11 is just released and we finally got a custom room based on Android 11 this is pure AOSP no customizations at all but still Android 11 is Android 11 if you need the features video I already made a video on Android 11 kind of features on GSI's beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 all the GSI's features I already shown you so I am not gonna share with you all the features of Android 11 just Android 11 update for Redmi Note 8 and I'm gonna share with you which other things working which other things not working because it's the first build so yes bugs are expected don't expect to be the bugless build because it's just early stage but yes if the first build is released we will get updates very very soon with a lot of things working in this video i'm going to share with you how you can install this build on your redmi note 8 and which other things working and which other bugs everything else now let's get started okay guys first of all this is pure aosp so no customizations at all also it does not have the pixel launcher or a launcher pre-installed i have installed it manually from the google play store you can also install it to customize because the default look is not good as you already know about that i already made a video on gsi so you can go and check it out that how the default aosp kind of look looks like i have installed the launcher so you can install launcher and customize a lot of things if you want to and yes this is android 11 so you can see all the android 11 kind of things are perfectly fine here android 11 build number is available here also you can see two by three combination and you also have the screen recorder option available here but only the option of record audio from microphone or device audio device audio and microphone nothing to customize getting the resolution bit rate or almost kind of things as this is just stock android 11 talking about the smoothness this is first android 11 build so i'm not saying it is that much fast but yes it's not slow you can use it fully on a device if you want to and talking about the custom kernels i have not tried to install any custom kernel till now but custom kernel i think may can work maybe work maybe not work for you you have to try it on your own by taking boot image backup for sure then you can try it if you want to also one more thing is as you can see no magisk installed so in my case magisk is not working actually i have not tested magisk still now because super user is available so you can go and try it out this super user and the link for super user google apps and everything the, the room also every link is in the description you can go and try it out if you want to and yes migrate is perfectly fine here if you are a user who use migrate to take backups migrate is perfectly fine you can use a super user to grant permission for root so all of these things are perfectly fine here let me show you one thing a uh, one bug first bug which i got till now whenever you open the dialer pad and I dial any any key from here and go for the dial one and then let me show you I have this record option available here let me show you whenever I click on record call as you can see recording fail so yes this is kind of a bug and uh, this is the first build we can expect these kind of things are here this is a bug you cannot record calls from this default dialer pad this is not actually the default dialer pad i have installed it a google phone app from the google play store if you also want to install it this is better than usb dialer in my case you can also install it right now other things if you talk about let's move on to settings and let's check out which other things you get here the default same look like the android 11 stock build as i already told you but yes whenever you go to the apps and notifications option you have the conversation customizations where you can enable the priority and modified conversations these are the things you can customize in android 11 which is a very cool kind of features also whenever you go to the notification option you have the bubbles option which is available in android 11 base rooms which is kind of very interesting things also have the notification history option which is one of my favorite features of all time because earlier in android 10 or android 9 or wherever else you don't have the notification history feature available but now we have the android in android 11 we have the notification history option so we will not miss any notifications from our notification panel because sometimes we recently just swipe and just dismiss the very important notifications but now with notification history we will not be able to we will be able to check out the notifications which we accidentally deleted which we accidentally missed out 
also it has some cool kind of features like the hide silent notifications in status bar and the notification snoozing and that's a kind cool of things that notifications can be customized and this is one of my favorite features in android 11 till now and 11 is very cool kind of features as you already know and when we go to the display option let me show you have the option to choose the ascent color you can choose the pixel blue color because if you're a pixel lover like me uh, you can choose this pixel colors right now so that looks better than aosp because aosp has green kind of colors which that which does not look that much cool but as pixels color look nice also you have the fonts customization so yes it's stock android kind of thing but still fonts customization ascent color customization icon shape and icon pack these are the customizations very cool so still some customizations are there for some cool kind of things you can use them sound has the same kind of things where you can choose the media option and you can choose the hide player when the media session has ended so yes all the main android 11 features are present here but yes this room is not that much great in the terms of performance in my opinion whenever i try to multitask it just lags sometimes why i don't know it sometimes it lags while using the multitasking in my case i'm not sure about your case but yes this is kind of a thing also video recording is not good video recording is broken whenever i record the video of 10 second to 15 second in gallery it will show up to five minutes which is also kind of a little bit of disappointing thing some other bugs little bit more bugs are available here too very cool kind of thing is the xiaomi parts option is available you can simply access the xiaomi parts from the settings so yes android 11 with xiaomi parts is quite good and good enough you can use gcam also if you want to these are the things i just wanted to share with you Selenux is permissive, safety net status is not passed, unfortunately you cannot able to use banking apps but yes you have to wait for some other builds to, to check out proper stability and uh, till now it's the first build so if you still want to install it, how you gonna install it, let me show you. Guys for installation you need these three files, the link for all these three files is in the description you can go and check it out. You need the ASP Gingo 11 which is the ROM file, second you need the Google Apps file and third you need the super user file. So as I already told you Magisk is not perfectly fine and also I have not tested it yet. Once I will test and that will work perfectly fine, I will surely make a video on how you can install Magisk in Android 11 right now. But yes these are the three main files which you need and this is the optional one because if you want to root your Android Level, you can use this file and if you don't want to root you can simply skip this part how you can install this let's move on to custom recovery okay so guys i recommend you to use orange fox latest orange fox custom recovery r11 which i already made a video on you can go and check it out that how this latest orange fox custom recovery has the ui and how it is great First of all, booting into custom recovery, we have to go to the wipe section as expected as always. Delvi cache system vendor and data. All these five things, first of all, you have to click, and after that, you have to do is swipe to wipe all these partitions as you already know. And after wiping, you have to install the room. Let me show you all these steps one by one. Just go here and then go to the file manager. So guys just click your own file first and click swipe to install and then it will take some time to install so just wait for the installation to finish. It will not give you error, it will not take that much time also it's only around 700 MB so just wait for the installation to finish. And yes I recommend you to use Orange Fox, Orange Fox Recovery Must. If you use any other recovery like Pitch Black, TWRP, I'm not responsible for something happen to your device. Guys, it will take less than 5 minutes, so just after everything is done, just go here and then install the NextG apps, the latest Google apps. By the way, you have a choice, you can use the Bit, BitG apps or you can choose the NextG apps, so depends upon you which you want to install. I'll provide the link for both of these things, so whichever you feel comfortable, you can install that one. As you can see, it will not take that much time, it's done also. After that, before installing the root, what you have to do is you have to go this go here and select the format data type yes and click on ok it will only format data it will all it will format all of your data and you just need backup once for sure because if you have backup then it's good and if you don't have backup you might lose all your data for sure then after that you have to install right now this android 11 super use this is for optional steps so if you need root you can use this and if you don't need root you don't have to install this so i have to install and it will be installed successfully after that just simply reboot your device everything is done and you'll be able to you'll be booted into android 11 right now on redmi note 8 
this was quite easy this was quite simple this is the first build i already shown you which other things perfectly fine here and how's the performance everything else in this video thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day